Can y'all see us? Good. Let's see if this do anything. Oh, Lord. A lot ready to tell a ghost story, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Well, we got a special guest this morning here in Georgia. Sleazy's one of these uh, one of these COVID additional hunters we are receiving <laughs> this year. It's rough on an old boy like me. Yeah. I look forward to the weekdays, and this year, there ain't no weekdays. No. Nope. It's all weekends. It's now. all weekends. But Sleazy came in yesterday evening from uh, North Carolina, and I had to go back and get some footage moved and all that kind of fun stuff that comes along with this whole thing. And uh, I sent him back in here to that turkey that I struck at about lunchtime a little after yesterday, and that turkey gobbled a few times. Here's the tricky part, all right? This is where things get a little bit funny. This turkey is roosted. Now, it's the... We're almost a week into the season. Tomorrow will be a week. And this turkey's roosted less than 200 yards from his gate, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, we got two vehicles parked at this gate. Um, so, hopefully that ties him up for us and get, keeps the people off our backs. But this turkey's roosted ridiculously close to a gate. very often that you leave the vehicle and walk away from the dirt. I've had to do it a few times, but <laughs> it's definitely not a common occurrence. We've slipped in here and now we're just waiting to see if he'll give us the gobble, see if we need to make any last minute adjustments. We're thinking we should be within 150, 175 at worst case scenario. But he could be. right there too, so that's why we're buckling down right here and gonna give it a minute. That ain't no real owl. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. They blow an owl call. Four seconds later, they blow a crow call before daylight. Man, I'm telling you, the pressure this year is unbelievable. Really liking blowing that thing. He loves that thing, doesn't he? I mean, why would you blow it that many times in a row? Or... <laughs> Yeah, he's in that pine tree. 
east. And he flew down right where we had walked. Golly, I was close. Let's go ahead, Ray. <laughs> Turkey's gobbling like mad, but he's went the opposite way of us. And this is a hunter-rich environment, so it's only a matter of time before somebody winds up in shooting range of that bad boy. <laughs> you know what we're doing right now, too, don't you? Yeah. Calling people. Calling people up. That turkey is moving, son. We knew he was a special kind of bird. When I met him yesterday, he roosted right beside the gate. And he came close to killing him, but about as far from killing him right now as you can be. He's gonna get killed today. I just don't know if it's gonna be by us. He is freaking goblin. But he's moving. This road runs right to it, but I don't think he's in shotgun range of it or anything. Ooh, that was a lot closer. What do you think calling that turkey's gonna do? We got a little bitty one right beside him. I'd go for it, man. Barely going away. There's a guy walking on the road. Besides two trucks. Yeah. This guy over here came in from the other side. He don't know, even though we whistled at him and he just went on by. He looked, could you tell what he looked like? He, he looked older to me. He probably. long hair. I thought I saw long, like a, a man bun or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's I hard to say. At some point, this turkey's gonna turn around and come back this way. So what he did Boy, he's going to sometime today. That's what he did yesterday. He could either do it here, or he's gonna go up this backside yeah. where I found a sign back there. Mm -hmm. about like he did to me, huh? If that fool would have stood there, kept gobbling at him a few more times before he broke, yeah. everybody in here would have probably been scared. <laughs> fool gobbled and he can't ask for no more. Mm -hmm. He gave us the, the window was there. Yep. That boy didn't got down enough in the bottom with him. He's done bumped that turkey if he's standing right there. If he is on that far, yon hillside. He just turned and walked off. Mm -hmm. Turkey will gobble again before the day's over. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't surprise me if he ain't done had a load sent at him sometime in the past week. Mm -hmm. The way he's acting. Because I bet the Joker just didn't start gobbling. I bet he's been yeah. doing it. Mm -hmm. Well, our buddy up here has come down into the woods and pushed the turkey. Yonder way, he thought we'd have killed that turkey. But just needed him to get in the right spot so we could get in the right spot. And before that happened, we got company, so. Slipping down this creek bottom, he's just gobbled twice. He's way down here, but I'm not too sure. He's a little bit close. There he was. We're gonna get on down here, see if we can't get close to him. It's been about maybe 45 minutes or an hour since everything happened, so hopefully he's calmed down. Hopefully the Competition has already went back home. Lost interest. Hopefully we can get him to ourselves down in his bottom and work something out with him. That's Jake, Jake.
if it would have been him, it would have been over for any of them because they were but 25 yards. And took he ran around the corner. <laughs> Just run around that little loop. I ran that corner with it 15 yards. Yeah, and then just started walking. As soon as he popped around, I seen that little old head. I said, I don't think so. Yeah. There he goes. He's down in there, honey. Yeah. I don't know if we need to wait on him here or keep pushing. We can get in the creek and get to him, you know?
We got that old runner. <laughs> You got it, buddy. That was a good one. That was a power move, wasn't it? <laughs> you gotta have brass. <laughs> that last time he gobbled, I said that bull gonna stick his head up in a minute. And I seen it come out from behind that tree on the right side of it. And when he went behind it, I was able to shift. Yeah. Boy, he stuck that head out. Went in half his truck, and when he raised it, I said, that's good enough. <laughs> You want to talk about a power move. I guess he went. These are the rocks we were looking at right there. Reckon he went behind that lump, lump right there. I think he come up that flank. Looks like old wood drive. Yeah. He got up in here and he locked it right here. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Been a long time since I killed one of them. Beautiful. You sent some of your dad with that shell too, didn't you? That's the first shell you sent with. <laughs> That's first one. I know Drew's got a, Drew has, if he said, he said, if I've laughed. <laughs> he said, what's up there? He said, on 17 grains of buff and three grains of diet. <laughs> oh, I loaded me uh, 20 of them, and then I loaded Jeremy a handful, and then I loaded each one of the grand young ones. Yeah. Whew. Lordy, have mercy. That old bull gobbled right over. And th when he gobbled, this guy shut up. Shut and I up. said, uh-oh. I hope I hadn't. I said, I hope that helps us. And he didn't gobble back. And I said, I hope I didn't just hurt us. I'm wondering if that's why he's a runner. Because it looks like he's a two-year-old, don't That's what he is. He's a runner because he's nervous. Oh, did you watch him going up this ridge? He was, he was all head, wouldn't he? Yeah, boy. He wasn't taking no time. Well, it took us to probably 1040. We caught up with him, though. Man, we, you said it all morning. If that yeah. fool keeps running his mouth, we'll eventually, we'll eventually get. He would eventually put himself in a bad position. But boy, that was a power move. If there's he ever been his, one, he put himself in the right position. Oh yeah, for him. This right here. That little berm right here. This right here, what got that turkey killed? Yep. If he had kept this going. little berm, this little rock outcropping right here. We were. Let's see that creek makes a bend. We were right yonder, weren't we? This that creek make, bar. yep, that sandbar right there. We were sitting on a tree right there and that turkey was gobbling up this bottom, up here. And we just encountered them jakes down here at this end of the bottom. So we figured this turkey was working up down this bottom. So we were sitting down there about that joker time, that joker started coming up. And I mean, this is a, if you can't tell how steep it is, it's steep. Thank you for liking hearing yourself. There's some heat on him. I'd say there's been some heat on him. There's, there's some heat this morning. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. Because, uh, well, that's turkey hunting. That's about, that's about real as it gets for me. That is about as real as it gets. That's about everything that can happen on a public land turkey hunt that you, I mean, we knew he was gonna do it, you know? <clears throat> it's turkey. We a lot further from the gate right now than we started this morning. Way further. <laughs> had to wade through the crowd. Yep, we had to body surf to get in here, but, but anyhow, it's time. It is time, and let me tell you something. There's a little, little tweak into these. And I don't know what it's gonna be like, but there's a tweak to them. Because they didn't have my originals at the station, and given the 
coronavirus, there ain't a whole lot of stations open. So we having to make do with what they call blacks, Swisher blacks. Hell, I don't know the difference in none of I don't them. either, but they yeah. called them black. And I said, all right, and I noticed they're a darker color. Yeah. And they got quite a smell to them. Well, they do smell good. Mm-hmm. I'm a tobacco connoisseur, but I just ain't... <laughs> much on the cigar? I ain't much on a smoker, but I will break down occasionally <laughs> for a moment like this. Yeah, it's pretty special. Has a pretty special little shell went into this turkey today. Last year, about May, my daddy passed away, and of course we've done all that, and it slowed my season down a considerable last year. So we had all that done. So when I went to roll my shells this year. There's a little bit of buffer, and there's a little bit of my dad in every one of them. That's and there's a little bit of him left on this ridge in Georgia this morning. That's right. So that's going to be how this season goes for me. We're going to spread my dad out. This may be the only one to kill this year if it is. Well, it was a fine way to start, fine oh, way to end. But it must have been a pretty good little shell, of course. It did it number, didn't it? Yeah. I was bearing down pretty tight on this fella. I almost squeezed it off one time. I said, nah. Them, them uphill shots are a little challenging, ain't they? Because it's yeah, so especially uncomfortable. especially when you're standing about half yep. squatting, half standing. Around the edge of a tree. Got to take that breath and bear down. Yep. You or to... you'll be the one singing the blues. Hmm. <laughs> but I always say my little prayer every morning before I go. One little tidbit of it. Let my aim be true. Mine always is, if you see fit, let it be quick and painless, because he deserves it. Yeah. That's, that's for sure.